Welcome, y'all. Welcome back to the Technus Corner. I'm your host, Seb Luca, and once you guys step right on in. Today, we've got an unboxing video on the box to my right, which may be your left, and let's take a closer look. So let's go. It's cutting a long story short. Is it the best USB microphone out there as the thumbnail? may or may not suggest that the question is and it all is in the eyes of the beholder you all so it is known as the epos otherwise owned by Sympathizer, but now also a bracket owned by hyperx epos b20 streaming microphone and yeah a little bit about it it's just to my left over here guys so you'll get a better look at the box right now and there it is right there but with that being said, let's go back to what we are on about, which is a little bit about the product before we get into the unboxing itself. And yeah, essentially, as you can see on the box itself, it's a pretty looking box. Very, very pretty, I have to admit. It specifies it's a streaming microphone. I don't know if that helps. B20 model, EPOS variant, and EPOS renownedly owned by Synthenheiser quality products and this is their entry level microphone into the fray in the usb territory that competes with say the blue yetis per se and elgato variants and things like that so it's got a bit to live up to and it costs approximately on a good day 139 us dollars i believe so that's something to look out for depending on how much you're paying on it i've recently got this one special and guys to cut a long story short it's what you're listening to right now is this mic unboxed and this will still be a unboxing video per se so we'll move it aside just to have a look at what's in the box and the experience of the new buyer to be able to purchase one of these so that you guys know exactly what you're getting in the box and whether it essentially meets specs but a bit more about it the POS B20 streaming microphone has four pattern USB streaming microphone is high quality supposedly according to the marketing material digital plug and play microphone that will elevate your game supposedly volume gain mute and pickup pattern dials are built into the microphone together with a headphone jack for real-time monitoring and look that can be automatically said to be the truth whether or not um the information that you're getting from other people is that for example there's a volume knob on it and the volume knob is for your pc volume no it's not it's actually for whatever headset is plugged into the microphone into the headset jack i beg your pardon whatever headset is plugged into the headset jack that will work that volume specifically not your default volume which is currently set on your pc that's one thing that i picked up some people were wrong about because they probably never got that far and actually testing out the stuff that they're reviewing frankly but with that being said that's why i've got myself a second one because to cut a long story short if we have a look at the full scene i've got one mic over here which is to my right so if we have a look over here We'll see one mic's to my right here, which I can use around the around the uh, Technus corner, obviously. And then further up over here, when I do builds for say over here, I want to equal sound. So I'm setting up another mic over here, and that way it'll give me a clear sound essentially on you know the whole spectrum of the room, which I can then utilize whatever audio file I see fit. Again, as on the box, it says craft, crafted to last, designed to excite. And look, at by all means, it looks very sleek to begin with. That's something that appealed to me. It was, it was just, it was a change. I had that, I had that momentary. Oh, I don't know about the Yetis because the Yetis are the, the blue Yetis, even though they're great mic skies. Don't discount them. This is essentially a equal mic to those Yetis with one different aspect of it, which is well, we'll talk about it a, a little bit further in. Before we get into the unboxing, we'll talk about device compatibility and it's compatible with your PS5, your Mac OS X, PS4, PC. Key features in relation to the mic uh, that we should hopefully verify once we unbox obviously i've already got one of them so i'm you know not going to set you astray unless it's something that they're marketing and if they're marketing it i'm going to explain what the hell's going on with it in relation to how it may work if it's been perceived differently or not whatnot and there's some things that we'll get to in a second that i want you guys to be aware of the key features hassle-free usb connection 
Yeah, I guess so. Um, it's got a 2.9 meter cable, supposedly, and I've never measured it. So 2.9 meter cable, that's pretty decent. Uh, integrated audio controls, which is the controls we're talking about on the mic per se itself. Okay. And high quality build with a sleek design. Definitely got that sleek design feel to it, which is very appealing towards the aesthetics and the eye. Choice of four pickup pattern, just like the Yeti and many other cardioid omnidirectional slash four pickup pattern mics. It's not dedicated mic to any one sound, but it's got different ways of picking up the sound bear. It's stereo, omnidirectional, and or cardioid, and or the other the, the other one I forget. But also it's a, mentioned it, it's a studio broadcast quality microphone. What does that mean? Well, they say it's a streaming microphone, but they do also mention broadcast quality microphone it is. And it's in relation to 24 bits, essentially. 24 bits at 48,000 kilohertz, okay? So normally... The general microphones like the Blue Yetis and whatnot have 16 bits, okay? And where that is, it's in relation to 24-bit dynamic range, and it gives us a more headroom for peaks, so you don't risk clipping and uh, has a greater separation between the recorded audio and the noise floor. When we readjust audio levels in post-production, for example, hence studio broadcast, there will be more latitude with less probability of artifacts as long as the editing software supports it, guys. Okay, so most people believe that the audio quality of 24-bit is better than 16-bit, and this is true in computing and scientific accuracy, but conflating quality with a higher number isn't true perceptually, you have to agree. While there is a greater dynamic range and less noise, the human's ear cannot perceive much difference between the two. And that's something that you have to consider if you're paying more for 24 bit as opposed to 16 bit, or if that's a selling point for you. But for consumer and user applications, a bit depth of 16 bits is perfectly fine. Although for professional use, recording, mixing, mastering, or professional video editing, a bit depth of 24 bits is definitely, definitely a better option. Now, this microphone does come with a two-year warranty. So enough about the mic in general. Let's open her up and let's take get a closer look at what is essentially to my right here. And you guys have been listening to this whole time, only tweaked a little bit through the OBS software as well. So let's go. Alrighty, so she is a very beautiful box and I apologize for any audio clarity issues currently. Um, we do need to grab our trusty Technus Corner unboxing tool of the tray, the Transformer Decepticon knife. If you guys are interested, this beautiful, beautiful knife is 387 grams. So yeah, it's a monstrosity. You're not throwing it anywhere, frankly. And if you are, you are He-Man in itself. Let's open this up. So a little bit of a slit is over here. And with that being said, I believe there's something on this side over here that needs addressing. Let's pop that down there. And we should just be able to pull the tab and watch this, guys. Bang. Opens up like so. Beautiful. And this is how we're greeted, essentially. So we're greeted with the EPOS logo, Sympathizer, and essentially a little slip there. We can take out this top part here. This will have probably, I'm guessing, the cable, which is, as mentioned, quite long. Very, very long, in fact. And this cable, along with all the booklets. Microphone, on the other hand, is USB-C, which goes to the back of the mic and then USB A essentially standard um, and I believe it's 2.9 meters in length that's been specified and it has to be at least that long to reach in the part over there where I actually needed to come back towards this computer so we'll find that out sooner rather than later but with that being said also comes with a little nibbit which is to screw it into the stand we're not going to use the stand because we're using a boom arm specifically for this one as well so with that being said you essentially pull it out like so and there it is guys so that part allows for full rotation and essentially this mic is front facing so you don't need to talk top side to it but you talk front side to it and that's the best pickup pattern that you want to be looking at guys so that being said that that and you also do get with it an actual stand that you can place it onto itself which is really cool um, if you don't have a boom arm yet um, although I would recommend running it off a of boom arm, frankly. And that's about all there is in the box. What's in the box today? So let's uh, let's go back to 
better viewpoint so yeah guys um everything that's been laid out here is in the box or it comes with its own stand and whatnot as you can see it's better to have it running off a broom arm now i'm running it off the road broom up here but it works just as well with half the value cheaper ergonomic arm i've got over there at the technics corner we've got reviews on both broom arms as well as now an unboxing video on the B20 and look it's on power but that 24 bits it gives that little bit more depth that I was looking for and also coupled with a two-year warranty generally items only come in the range of like with a year warranty so after two years unless you're manhandling it it'll probably last a lifetime you know what I mean it, it's doubtful that parts will fail within that Two year period they usually fail within a year period on dodgy items and dodgy warranties like that so that's something to consider guys for the value and the price if it's on special definitely grab one otherwise yeah have a look at the other stuff that's out there but it does meet spec guys that's the main thing so yeah make sure that you're not being stooge with anything in relation to what you get in the box it's been showcased here my name is seb luca thanks for joining us at the technos corner don't forget to hit that like and sub button on the way out and peace out guys Bye.